Hello Parents. This is a video I'm making for you to help your kids on the ever popular spelling assessment. I will admit that spelling, I tell my kids all the time, it does not make you a smarter person because you can spell. It does make you appear smarter at times because you know how to spell things as an adult. But I know too many people that are super brilliant that truly are not spellers. They're just not natural spellers and that's fine. The thing I do like about CKLA and the spelling assessments is it helps kids decode hard words. It gives them a pattern. We use this thing, and this is what I want to explain to you today. We use this thing called a code chart. This is code. I tell them it's like a game code to the Mario Brothers world. And it's a game code that explains to them when we say the sound E, there are many ways to spell it. You may see them do this or this. There are many ways to spell E, but there's just one sound of E. So we use the code chart. They have these in that bin right there, and it just shows you different ways to spell E. There are eight ways, unfortunately, when we're using the, word, the sound E, there are eight ways. So hopefully this video will help you guide the students through these spelling tests. I realize they are hard for an eight, nine-year-old kid. I have never been a big fan of spelling tests. However, as I said before, it is giving them the code to understand that, oh yeah, Miss Thomas said, and they will learn this continuously through CKLA as they did in second grade, now in third, fourth grade picks up CKLA next year. So this will continue for them. This is called an individual code chart. They have the small version of this here at school because I don't want them to lose it because we use it here at school. But you can look at this lesson and hopefully it will help you each time the spelling is presented. This is a general video about how we do spelling through CKLA. So real briefly, your child gets the spelling assessment every Monday. I actually give them the test. They don't take the test. We fill the chart out. What it wants them to know is do they understand that in this word, the sound E is spelled this way. In this word, the sound E is spelled this way. And in this word, the sound E is spelled this way. We have, I think, three more. We've covered the spelling just E, M-E, like me, and the spelling B, B-E-E, -E, two E's. So that's what we worked on last week. The spelling words, the 18 spelling words they study during the week, have that code in them. If they know the code, they just need to know which heading it goes under. And of course, the letters that go around it. That sometimes is the tricky part. But I put the spelling chart, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's over here, up here all week. Here's what we do in class. And I'll give you an example of not all of them, but we'll do the top three. The first word on my list is eager. So I write the word eager. The students then are asked to find the letters in the word that are making the E sound. They know the rule of two vowels go walking. They may have said that to you. And they know that EA in this word is making the E sound. They just need to fill in the rest of them. If they know bossy R, they know that sound. And of course, they know the sound of G. Last week on the spelling test, what I did was break down every sound in the letter. That was not only to help some of my students that I'm required to help, but also every student in the class. So if the word was surgery or Greek, they heard g, er, e, k. That's how I broke it down. So depending on how your child did, that either helped them or it didn't. But when I break it down like this, they know I'm chopping each letter separate. Kind of like a date roll. I'm chopping pieces off. So g, er, e, k. They just needed to know that it was spelled with two E's, and most everybody got that right. So that was one of our first words for this week, and you'll see the spelling list come home in their binders. This whole thing comes home, plus a list, a family letter that comes home. So the next set of words, this is just one set. As you can see, there are many blanks, but I didn't want to take this video to fill out all of them because they have that, and they're bringing it home today. So the next one is the I-E spelling, spelling, of the sound E. And I use these things with them so they know what I'm talking about, so they're familiar with it. You might ask them to do it. The next word 
would be grief. We briefly talked about what grief means. So grief. G-er, if they know their letters, I help them with it because I found that they're struggling on these spelling tests a lot. Some of them aren't, but that's very few of them. So g-er, e, f. They need to remember that it's the I-E that's making the sound. And that's not very common, but we do have quite a few words that make that sound, the E sound, but spelled with I-E. And then the last one we use, and this is, I understand, it's hard. Chunking the word will help. Sometimes the letter I makes the E sound by itself. Glad, if they can get the glad down, then they should be able to put the code and use the code to help them figure out the rest of it. Glad, E, A, they'll hear me chunk it out on Friday. G, U, A, D, E, A, T, O. They'll probably see me do something like this too. When a seal makes his sound, it's or, or, or. They know that hint because we've studied bossy art. And bossy art was where all this problem started. So I'm really trying to help them through these things. I give them codes. Once again, I say, where is the letter that's making the E sound? And they have to circle the I. Because that's, what's, that's what is not playing fair in the word. So hopefully, and we have several more words. Like I said, this whole chart is coming home with them. The challenge words, I'm supposed to count off for those if they get them wrong because those are first grade sight words. But I am not doing that because I'm just trying to get them through these tests, get them down, get the pattern down. We're about five tests in now, and I'm hoping the pattern is going to continue, that they get better. Um, but I made this video for you as parents to help you understand how we teach spelling in CKLA. This will be across the board because we use the code chart for everything. And that is, this whole chart is the English language code. This is our flip book. And it's the code, the vowel code flip book. And it starts with A. So hopefully that will help them understand that E can be spelled many different ways, but the sound is still E if we're dealing with E or A. So there's the spelling assessment. It's coming home today, just like it'll do every week. On Friday, I will cut down the sounds. I have to do that for some of my students. So I just do it for everybody. And that tends to help them at least get the letters that maybe they're not getting otherwise, even when they know the code. So that's giving them a little release of pressure so they don't have as much pressure and they know Miss Thomas is going to make out the sounds. But our ultimate goal is to get them to spell the words, but also more importantly to me than to be a perfect speller, because not everybody is naturally, um, is to understand the code that sometimes E can make it sound using other letters. Thank you so much and hope this helps.